practice space, we actually had to steal our gear out yeah. of the building. Do you remember that? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> he was one of those, uh, it's like a rogue mission. It isn't so much that, you know, we just go there to, to work. It's like a place where you can go develop ideas without having to worry about what time somebody else is going to show up or any of that type of stuff. But as far as us progressing, I think it's been leaps and bounds since we got the space. Yeah. I can go in, I can write songs, record them, and then Dan will come in when I'm not even there and work at, you know, work on them. I'll come in the evening and it's like, you know, the song's getting polished while I'm not even around. It's never, never possible. What do you think? Do you like the space? I like the space. I can be loud whenever I want. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Play drums. Three in the morning. Three in the morning. So what time do you go? It's usually my drum time. Yeah. Very <laughs> my roots are in, uh, in DJing. So basically, what I do is I would take we like break down parts in like bass, keys, lead, uh, extra vocals, drums, and effects. And throughout the song, I gradually create the song with with different parts. from a musical background of, you know, just songwriting, so a lot of the stuff that we do is just kind of in, you know, could basically be written on acoustic guitar. You know, I could sit here and be like... I want to sleep, but I can't look now, I've got a sister's friend calling back. But, like, how many people, uh, you know, kind of just stick to the acoustic guitar thing, which is what I was doing before I met Dan. I just played acoustic guitar and uh, once we get around to the electronic programming of everything, I realized how much more uh, emotion you can give songs. We were playing a, an old Boss GT6 and I hated it. Every show it sucked. So I did a, a bunch of research and found all these pedals. So the difference between that and this... Synth is a uh, virus, access virus. Uh, so that's like my main instrument, and then this goes into the laptop, and then the rest of all this stuff, it controls the sounds of the synth. So. It's a uh, late 70s Ludwig, and it's kind of just big toms. Uh, I've got a 14-inch rack tom, an 18-inch floor tom, and a 24-inch kick drum. You know, Gemini Club, their drum sounds in the past have always kind of been like a 70s vibe. This drum set extremely appropriate for the sound. The thing that is, I think sets Gemini Club apart that's so different, and the reason that I love it, is when you have a traditional setup, not knocking it, not that I don't listen to bands who have you know two guitars, a bass, and a, and a drummer, um, but you're somewhat limited to those, those sounds. And with us, I never feel limited by the, the sounds that I can use or the production that I can use. I feel like it could just kind of grow into anything. To successfully be touring, and to be creating music that we care about. That's what it comes down to. Like, the shows are important to me. Your idea is singular, and like, you can make a cool sound right now, and, and that cool sound will last until the, the record's totally out, and it'll be there on, on stage with you, and like, that's that's what I think is so cool just about electronic music in general, and, and the, just everybody's willingness to like, use the tools that are available. I hope Ryan and I um, buy a house one day. In the next couple years. What do you think? White I don't, I'm not getting a Colonial. I don't like Colonials. We'll talk about it. I'd say since we moved into the new space, the amount of work and everybody's kind of, um, you know, put their money on the table, you know? You realize that you want to do this for your life. You know, I know plenty of people that are 
these musicians that write good songs, but to be honest, they really don't, they really aren't putting in the time that it's necessary for them to be successful. And I think there's been a major shift in the last, you know, six months where everybody's like, we want to take care of business and we want to travel and make, you know, it's our living, we have to put it in. We want this to be our lives. You know, we want to make records, we want to tour. You know, we're going to our first big East Coast tour. I'm going to a bunch of cities that I've never seen before, you know. And, and it's happening because of the work that we put in. Give me that beat we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> You're a light out, you know that? I know. I know who I am. I personally just have a passion for putting symbols on stands. <laughs> like, a dead of like I can only be crazy for so long. I know, I know. <laughs> Go the way.